but every time the kick hits, I came across one of the most refreshing and creative plugins I've ever seen. It came out a few days ago. It's called Enrage by Boom Library. It has 40 different effects packed in one plugin that you can route, mix and match any way you want. You can create crazy soundscape, distortion, saturation, delays, reverbs, vocoder, you name it. It's a very deep plugin. So if you want to geek out, this will definitely keep you occupied. But if you don't want to go deep into the settings, this thing comes with a whole lot of cool presets that you can easily and quickly tweak to get cool sounds. Let's hear it in action. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixfest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Pro Mix Academy, free plugins, discounts, special offers, and of course, link to the Enrage by Boom. And if you want to support the channel, but most important, up your mix and mastering game, access to the members only exclusive content, an already big and always growing library of in-depth professional mix and mastering courses, videos, and tutorials here on the channel. Click the join button down here, see all the perks of becoming a Mixfest TV member, which also gives you mixed consultations with me via Skype or email. Let's get to it. Because this plugin is so deep with 40 different effects and endless ways to modulate them and combine, it can be a little intimidating when you first open it up. So I want to start this video just playing audio through it and just scrolling through some of the cool presets and show you that you don't really need to dig into each and every parameter or even know them to get cool sounds. And then we'll go a little deeper into all the details, the functions and the effects. But also Boom Library has a bunch of technical tutorials from basic to advanced. I will just write on different sources and like I said, scroll through some of the presets. We'll start with the sound feel, catch me if you can. This is a really cool one. So you can hear the first panning effect is already cool. You can see a lot of things moving. We're going to see all of them later. And here, just to start in this grid, you have all your effects that you can literally drag and drop just like that from the devices list here on the left. This was just the first preset on the sound field category. Let's keep going and let's hear. It has really cool tricks with phase rotation like this one. Really useful to position things as you can hear in 3D space in a mix. A pop vocal widener. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. And you can see here already in the matrix how complex the effects chain can be but they don't have to be that complex. You have a dry wet knob here at the bottom. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. Random filter sweep. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. We have stereo wobble. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. We have a bunch of delay presets that are really cool. We start with audio starter.
We have shimmer types of delays like this. I particularly like the filter presets. Let me play you something with them. This is called Bad Connection. Some are low fine like that, some are more modulated. Then you have the usual DJ filter that with the macros is really easy to use. You have combined filters and delays like this one. And of course it has cooled saturation. Let me play you some of these. This is heavy tube. And you can see you can combine Pento triode in any combination you want. We are going to look at the matrix and all the effects in a second. Let me play another couple of these distortion harmonics, I should say. You can go full distorted like this one. You have multiband clean distortion. And various special effects like there are so many these completely transform your sounds your source Okay, just a few examples. You have such a variety of effects, presets, and combinations. So let's take a look a little bit at the GUI and what you can do and how you use this thing. At the top left, you have the trigger control. This is by default triggered by the audio, the incoming audio, but you can trigger it with MIDI as well. You have two thresholds here. All right, the light here at the top tells you when the triggering is on or off. And here you have a side chain in in case you want to trigger with a different audio source, a filter, and here you have the control of it and the monitoring of the incoming signal. Down below you have the devices list. This thing has 40 different effects. You have in and out matrix, stereo in, side chain in, stereo out. You have gain, you have two types, linear and dB. You have six types of delay, tape delay, short, multi-tap, grainy delay, repeat and fixed delay. Let's try one just to show you. And as you can imagine, every time you see this black dot here, this black circle, this is something that you can modulate with one of the many modulation sources that are up here in this green tab. Right now there's the envelope follow, which is the default. You just grab the green four squares and you drop it in the control you want to modulate. And of course you can do it with every control. Next we have distortions and we have distortion decimator, valve drive and wave shaper. So I'm gonna cut this and put a valve drive just to show you another of the many effects. I like this one particularly, sounds really good. Dynamic session, you have a compressor, you have a gate, and the compressor is actually very, very snappy. It's really cool. The filter section, this is one of my favorite. You have a multi-filter, you have a parametric EQ, and you see every time you draw one of the devices, here you have the control. So for the multi-filter, here you have the cutoff, parametric EQ, here you have the frequency, low shelf, high shelf. One of my favorite here is the splash. I think this is very unique. I've never seen this before.
a really cool kind of filter. You have a bubble filter, also really good. For this one, I'm gonna change the mod source. And so I get to show you, you have ADSR, you have curve, LFO, envelope follower, transient change, mapping, pitch tracker, formula in delay. You have so many, and some of these are pretty straightforward, the LFO, the envelope follower, the transient, but some others like the mapping, the pitch tracker are very unique. You can do crazy things with those. You might wanna check the manual for that, but I will show you some cool tricks that I found, for example, with a pitch tracker. For this one, I'm just gonna use an LFO and on this loop with the vowel. I'm gonna drag the control here. All right, another cool filter. Let's keep going with all the effects you have. You have generators, sign, saw square, noise, and crackle. These are really cool to create both lo-fi effects and also crazy soundscape trigger either by the audio or the MIDI. You have imaging tab with stereo split, stereo merge, panning, MS decoder, encoder, split, and merge, which means you can feed a mid-side source to this one and output it in stereo or the other way around. You can also put these encoder decoders in your matrix here. And depending on what effects and how you split things, you can of course apply an effect only on the mid, only on the certain frequency band. It's really cool. Modulation tab, you have chorus, flanger, phaser, vocoder, and ring mode. Actually, the chorus and flangers on this one are particularly good. Right now I'm controlling the feedback with the envelope uh, follower and the uh, frequency with the LFO. And of course you can add effects on effects. This is the purpose of this matrix. You have a really cool reverb, for example, that I can add after this. And also you have a basic reverb. You see the panel here, the control panel when I drop it in, but also you have an impulse response reverb and you can load your own impulses. So this is the basic reverb, it sounds really good. All right, you can add and add and add. And of course, you can expand your stereo output. You can expand your stereo input as well. Uh, let me just add another delay. I really like their tape delay. For the delay, the tape delay, you have several filters, LP12, 24. And you can again add another modulator and for example we can control the feedback of this so you hear the effects on board are really good. Usually the multi effects, the effects themselves are not that great. This thing has some really, really nice sounding effects. And also you have utilities, which is the analyzer, for example. Let me actually make some space here in the matrix and add the analyzer to it. How cool is that? You have the spectrum, you have the scope. You have the X, Y, you have the metering at the bottom, and you can add this, of course, at the end of, or in the middle. 
of any chains. If you want to put the analyzer halfway here after the flanger to just check whatever, you can do it. Endless modulation sources. And of course, you also have the macros here. So if I go, for example, let me put this one here. I'm going to keep using the flanger just because I have it. But let's say I want to drag this on the dry wet. All right. And there you go. In my macro right now, I have the wet dry of my flanger. Want to do the same with delay, same thing. I'm going to drop this here. And I'm using the dry wet because it's the most simple to hear, but you can do it with every parameter. Multi-filter, I'm going to put it here before everything else, after the gain. And I'm going to assign the macro, just dragging and dropping to the cutoff. And uh, let's do this. And my third macro is going to be the filter. All right, so you can do this with all parameters, and there are so many. So like I said, it's a deep plugin. But that means you can be as creative as you want. You have all the effects here from distortion to dynamics. You have imaging effects. And I came up really quick. I found a couple of presets that I made actually while I was experimenting, which could be pretty useful and fun. So I was playing with this vocal. Well, this is a basic chorus tape delay. So you can have a vocal chain right there without. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Babe, it's nothing you did, so stop talking stupid. All right, I was a little bright. I added a parametric EQ right there, so you can easily build chains like this. I did later with this, this mod effects with a more complex matrix. You can see it here. It has com filtering, auto filter, distortion, basic reverb compressor, and tape delay. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. If you want to lower the amount of this cutoff here, you can put it higher and just lower the amount of modulation. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. Cool effects like this. So I started this effect to experiment with the ring modulation and I came out with this one. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But then when I bypassed the ring mode, the saw square with the pitch tracker was tracking the pitch of the vocal and creating this saw square sound that was repeating the vocal melody. Listen how cool it is. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost. All right, so pretty cool. You can do crazy things with something like this, and you can change the, the saw square with something else. But you see, the possibilities with these effects are endless. And also, you can use it for utility stuff. For example, let me show you this. I started this from the preset called D-Rumble, okay? And you can see this effect is triggered by the audio input, and I set the two threshold here right at the top left to be triggered by the kick drum, okay? And then we have this modulation source. Here, a simple parametric EQ, and the gain is modulated by our mod source. You can see the curve. I'm cutting the low end, but every time the kick hits,
pretty cool, isn't it? If you have a problematic loop, for example, that has a rumble, you can keep the low end down and then enhance it only when the kick hits. You can do this with other things, but this is very precise and also has a multitude of effects. By the way, here in the matrix, let me load another preset, for example, uh, EDM vocal channel strip here, just to show you here the matrix. So you have a bunch of effects here, sub octaver distortion, you can see, you can go into matrix view and you have everything clear you can assign macros from here as well so it's super easy but this is it for this video this was enraged by boom library like i said one of the most creative and refreshing effects i came across lately i just wanted to show you guys i hope you liked the video if you did please don't forget to leave a like and share the link to this plugin is going to be in the info box down below also a 20 percent discount launch offer is valid i think until april 13 so get on it subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell it helps the channel a lot stay safe See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands